What's up, everyone? So, yes, I'll end of this video. I have a team to you guys that got someone into number one leaderboard. A team that everyone will complain about that it's, you know, like that is a uh, triple week to the Ox's defense, triple week to Trevenant, a triple week to Medicham, triple week to Azu. Yeah, you could you could say that. It's a triple water. Lose to one Shadow Vic. But someone get to number one leaderboard with it. So if someone get to leaderboard with it, that means the team is solid enough. The team is basically Swampert, Walrein, and Shadow Celio. I'm not sure if Swampert, Shadow, or non-Shadow, but we will see about that. Shadow Celio is a very spicy Pokemon comparing to the other people around the same elo as Pranav. I, 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 Pranav. He's a Twitch streamer and he hit number one leaderboard using Shadow Celio, which is a very spicy Pokemon comparing to the other Pokemon that people run around uh, the elo that he was on before he tanks. Uh, like, since the higher you go, the higher you climb, the lower Pokemon that will be used in that, in that kind of meta. And. You know what, let's just go and watch the battles and we can judge. Uh, I know I'm going to see lots of comments that the team is weak to Medi, the team is weak to Azu. But you can never say Nido Queen because the team triple beat Nido Queen. He safe swap into Walrein. There is no answer to Walrein in this in, in this team. The answer is basically chip and dip. Get Throw one Hydro, put it in EQ range, then swap to Walrein. So now their EQ doesn't KO, but Pranav's EQ does KO. Uh, this is clearly a bait because they didn't even charge for it. Now he can over farm a bit and then throw the EQ after. And he made sure to over farm a bit so he can get to a move versus the Nido Queen in case they brought in the Nido Queen. But they didn't. They brought in Azu, which was good enough for him since he gets to the EQ now at this point. Uh, he banked an Icicle Spear. So basically, whenever like this Walrein can still have some use in this game. That was a good move because he doesn't care that much about swap. Like he have a Swampert to to kind of you know bait the Azulator in the game because it's gonna come to the one that Shield baits, Call baits. Because Shield advantage at high Elo is the most advantage that you can get. It's the best advantage. People tend to use the stuff that bait out your shields, and whenever you, the shields are down, some Pokemon can dominate, such as Walrein, such as Registeel. So now it's one shield versus two shields. At this point, he can literally just go straight Earthquake and win this game. Earthquake landed. Opponent knows that he has to snow shield a bit in order to win. Okay, my neighbor is doing something on their floor. Okay, Licky Tank. Triple Licky Tank destroyed the entire team. Nothing in this team beat Nido Licky Tank. So let's see how they manage how he managed to play it. Shield he has to call a bait. But shielding, no shielding a power whip is not the end of the world. Because Walrein is good but says everything. A body slam doesn't KO at this range. He can live with one HP. And you could see that Re Pranav recognized that he has to go for EQ because he doesn't live anything after, which he did. And that was perfectly. I don't know the word here, but that was perfectly implemented. You know, like he recognized the wing con and then he go for it. Well played so far. Like he called it most of the baits. Like, you know, shield here. It was a bait. And him no shielding a bait is going to be good for him because oh, technically opponent throw energy that doesn't do enough for them to win a game. And Pranav shielded an, a, a move that will force them to waste energy. So now, a Hydro still doesn't KO. Opponent still going for it. Some people just like to bait. Now he's just gonna swap out and Nido versus Swamp, but basically triple, triple three stuff that beats Nido. Uh, K9 doesn't beat anything in this team. Sableye safe switch. I know I've been seeing most people don't know how to deal with Sableye, but this is the perfect way to deal with Sableye. You you throw a move from Swampert, you don't insta swap because there is no Pokemon that can beat Sableye one but says one when Sableye has one Shadow Claw lead. Sorry. So the best way to do it is what Pranav did. Throw a move, you either put him in a very low health, or you force him to go do low, low, low on health, which what happened. Because opponent at that point couldn't afford to shield it twice. Now look at his Walrein beating the Shadow K9, almost grabbing another shield. And that was enough for him. Okay, this is an overheat. It's not enough to go for a solar beam. And yeah, 
he banked the move because he know that he has he needs that move to be the, the the Pokemon in the back. And this is an amazing shield. Like I I was like maybe he's gonna call the Dark Pulse here, but he has to shield if he shield if he has to shield the big one, the Shadow Ball. Uh, Shadow Seer lived this because it has some decent bulk and uh, Coffin is not an attack weighted Pokemon. And Swampert has a move, Canine doesn't have a move, and One Hydro should KO at this point. He didn't even do one fast move. Because he knows that one is enough to KO. And that was pretty well played. You might say that he hot countered, but that wasn't a hot counter game. Deoxys Defense is one of the, the Pokemons that give this team pain. Uh, Swampert can beat Deoxys Defense because DD has to Psycho Boost and debuff himself to win this game. And Swampert can shield once and then win this game as well. So he can shield the first and then swap on the second or just no shield or mud shut down. There is many scenarios he can do here. He no shielded and he still went for the farm down. Opponent didn't throw and he went for the catch. See, he didn't even play the same way. Like he he, he usually like he would throw a hydro, put it in EQ range and swap out. But this time he went for the, the he, he, he caught the icicle spear then he shielded the EQ, so now he's like, he caught a bait, he shielded the nuke. That's a big advantage for him so far. Opponent has a useless DD in the back. It might have a move, but that's not the end of the world because the Swampert also have a big move. EQ doesn't KO, and opponent sacked the Ox's defense for no reason. Okay, so now it's two Pokemons versus one. They have Registeel. Uh, he went for the Swampert, of course, because he has a move, and he can go straight Hydro Cannon at this point. And Registeel cannot overfarm at this point. I think this is a CMP, or they are one lock on away. Let's see. Yeah, they are one lock on away. So this is kind of useless, but he can still get to. He can get to a Water Pulse. Does the Water Pulse KO or no? Okay, no, never mind. Uh, they get it one turn before. Does he live? No, he doesn't live. Uh, that was a tough game because this team doesn't reliably beat Registeel and doesn't reliably beat uh, Deoxys Defense and they had both in the same team. Medicham, another Pokemon that gives this team pain. Uh, if it's Ice Punch, it's kind of tough. If it's Fora Punch, it's fine. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, they shielded. He shielded the Ice Punch. Yeah, Ice Punch is tough in the lead, but it's manageable. He tried to catch, but they didn't catch. Uh, Sirio is actually slightly better than Walrein in this matchup because people think that Water Pulse is a horrible move, so they don't need to shield it, but they don't know that. A Water Pulse plus powder is no plus. Body Slam is enough to KO the G-Fisk, and that's what people don't know. So that, which they, so they didn't shield. And that's enough for from an ice Pokemon to beat G Fisk. Because now he can either power the snow down if they end the charge. Or just a little hydro. Okay. So this is a psychic, supposed to be. So let's see what they do. They have a Diggers be in the back. A Planav. This is one. This is a CMP on the fire punch. Okay, they they didn't throw. I didn't he did end the charge, but they have a move. And they still throw. He has a move on the Walrein. But I don't think he can throw. I think he should have thrown here. Yeah, he should have thrown here. Well, a slight misplay. But I don't think it did matter because Medi can still counter him down. So he was committed to get to a back-to-back. -back because if he don't get to back-to-back, -back, he doesn't win. So there is no point of throwing a move that doesn't win you the game. This is something people at high Elioge always do. They always commit to their wing con. If they don't get to it, they don't throw, basically. Because that's like, you know, improve your overall performance. Because that will make, you know, like your brain always focus. That will make your brain always focusing on your wing cons. Okay, again, let's see this. As I said, people don't, don't respect the water pulse because it's a bad move. But water pulse plus powder snow plus body slam is enough to KO the G-Fisk. Uh, Planav did one over, over fun by one. I guess he miscounted. He's doing like some clowny stuff. 
Okay, I'm not gonna show you his camera. Okay, never mind. They brought in Gfisk. Oh, that was a Swampert. What am I talking about? S opposing Swampert didn't throw so far. Okay. He no shielded. He lives in EQ. So he would rather see them baiting, which what happened. Okay, they sludged finally. And now he has a shield. He can commit for the full farm down. He got the mud shot through, so this is supposed to KO. And they bring in the G-Fisk and he earthquake. This is a BM, guys. This is a BM. Doesn't matter. Don't be like, oh, he's a nice person. He doesn't BM. No, he did BM. Well played for now. That was a good game. Okay, I think that's like three three more three more games to go. Okay. This is a this is a dominant lead for the Swampert. They swap and they swap. They save swapped into Sableye again. He's gonna hydro and then dip out. Either he grab a shield or he puts them to be low in health. If they throw the turn, this is kind of Monka's. Which they did. So now he's throwing EQ. The thing about throwing EQ here is that if they no shield, he can farm down. But, but, if he throw the other one, he's going to CMP them on the move. And that will be better for them. That was a nice recognition by Pranav. Okay, he deserves some credit on that, to be honest. Because if he throw Icicle Spear, the second ice, Icicle Spear will be a CMP on, 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 on Sableye. And then he'll be forced to shield while like just throwing EQ. He killed on the other, the, the other move. They have Deoxys Defense and Registeel. Both are core breakers to this team. And DD is kind of is kinda healthy. So he has to shield now. He still have to shield, even if this is seven times debuffed. Okay, switch will be up soon. So let's see what he's what's he gonna do here. Oh boy, this is tough. They still get to the move. So the ox is one, even though. Oh, that was a misplay by the opponent. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. It didn't matter. We'll play it, and he won the game. Yeah, see, even if they have a counter to your team, doesn't mean you you lose. Okay, moving into another game. Let's see. Uh, okay, I think I didn't forget to... By the way, like, every match, he used to spend, like, 10 to 20 minutes. Q time. This These battles are, like, from 10 days ago. Uh, Altari lead is very tough, but you have two ices. If you can flip swab, you can win this game. He didn't throw... He didn't go for the EQ, which is kind of questionable. But opponent's gonna shield regardless because they die to two moves. He leave a mud bomb here. And he's throwing the Icicle Spear. So his Swamp is going to be able to much shut down at this point. Let's see how he's going to play it. This is a very tough uh, game. Yeah, he's not going to shield this. He's going to commit to double shielding his last Pokemon. Because so far, none of the, the Pokemons win the game. Uh, this, is, this is very tough. Because he doesn't have EQ on this Pokemon. And that was that was a CMP, so I am assuming every time he's gonna CMP, so he's gonna have to. Is he gonna? Is there a way where he can win this game? Like it's kind of like a complete hot counter. I don't know why opponent didn't shield his Reggie. Oh boy, the snipe. Is this even enough? I don't think this is even enough. Because you don't have an ice move on, on, on Celio. And he needs this he needs this EQ the uh, Hydro Cannon, which he did get to. So he live a moon blast. So he has to rely on two body slamming. One will grab a shield, the other one will KO. Yeah, he live a moon blast. And he live a sky attack. I think should this should Wow. This is a very well played by Fana. This is a very, very well played. Like, he lost lead, he lost the swap, and he got, like, triple hard countered in this game, and he still won. I bet most of you guys will, like, just top left if you if you lose lead and lose swap. 
This is a tough Pokemon. Azo overall beat every Pokemon in his team. Does that mean he's gonna lose? No. Opponent go is went straight for the Ice Beam, didn't even build up for the player off, which is the best case scenario for this team because I think he's gonna try to catch, which he did. Yeah, he can he caught the Ice Beam. They uh, game kinda laggy. They brought in Gfisk. So this is the, the thing about this game. If you if they know shield the icicle spear. It's tough for Walling to come back from, but if they shield the EQ, it's also tough. So now, since he grabbed both shield, he can shield once and then nuke again. Yeah, there is no reason to overfarm here because it's kind of risky. And there was enough to KO. As we can't bubble down. Yeah, he gets to the EQ. He has an EQ on Swamp, so if they do a bubble, he can swap and snipe, which what he did. Wow, well played. Like, you know, you sit here, you don't have the stress of playing the battles. And like, you think of like, what's the best case scenario? Meanwhile, he can do it while while he just like talk to his chat and playing. That was some next level games. Yo, thank you so much for, for sending the battles. By the way, make sure to check his live stream at twitch.tv slash I, 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 Pranav, I, I, I. I will be leaving the, in the description. So just like, you can just click on it and make sure to give him a follow. He's one of the best players currently and a, and a very fun streamer to watch. Thank you so much again for watching. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.